So this Burkhaus star map projection um, nicely works for areas like South America and Africa, but of course it divides other continents like Australia in half because it's not possible to line up all of the arms of the star with where the continents are. This leads to kind of the idea of an interrupted map projection. And this is the most famous of those, the good homolysine interrupted map projection. And what this does is it puts in cuts or tears or gaps in the map projection in certain areas so that all of the continents are nicely shown without any interruptions, except of course for Antarctica. And um, the oceans are the place where these interruptions are occurring. So the place these interruptions are occurring are places people might not be focusing on the map in the oceans, like in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean here. But all of the um, continental areas in this example are uninterrupted and easy to relate to each other if we, we could draw one continuous path from one side of the, uh, one side of the map projection to the other.